Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Abraham, and I am from Orange County, California, and I am one of the drummers here at Eastside Christian Church in Anaheim. So I'm going to give you guys a quick run through um, of the gear, drum gear we use here at our church. So check it out. Uh, we'll start off over here to my left. On the hi-hats, we have Istanbul uh, Agop hi-hats, 15-inch traditional light hats. Great sounding hats, uh, especially for that worship stuff. They, you know, crash nicely. Uh, we have Istanbul traditional medium crash. It's a 20 inch. It sounds great as well. Um, we have a 24 inch traditional medium ride. Uh, it crashes really well for that uh, worship stuff. Um, and we have an Istanbul exist 20 inch crash. So we use all Istanbul all around. <clears throat> great sounding cymbals. Uh, they're more on the bigger side, as you guys can tell. Uh, 20 inch crashes, 20, 24 inch crash ride, 15 inch hat. For drums, we use uh, Ludwig Keystone kit. Great sounding kit. Uh, we have a 14 by 6.5 uh, Ludwig Superphonic snare. We have a 13 inch rack tom, a 16 inch floor tom, and we use Remo uh, coated emperors for the toms and a controlled sound uh, Remo head for the snare. As far as hardware, we use all DW hardware. Very good, very durable, um, doesn't give out on us at all. Uh, we have DW 5000 pedals for hi-hat and uh, the kick pedal. Uh, we also have a Remo uh, Power Stroke Power Stroke 3 on the kick. Oh, and this is a 24. 24 by 14, I believe, uh, kick drum. Beast of a kit, sounds great. Um, does as well um, every single weekend. And then we have an SPD pad um, here that we don't use every weekend, but it's always there. As far as sticks, I use uh, Promark uh, 5As. Feels great. Um, I'm somewhat of a power hitter, so it being thin kind of helps sound guys with that. I don't blow the ears of the people in the congregation or a front of house guys. Speaking of front of house guys, they love these uh, shy, shy buffles, I think they're called, um, to um, help with the sound of the cymbals and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the gear we use here. We're super blessed that, you know, the church provides this kind of stuff for us. So um, for myself and the other drummers we have here at church. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below. and. I'd be happy to, to answer those for you. Actually, hold on, I forgot. Um, a lot of people ask about um, in-ears, so I use uh, Ultimate Ears. I don't know if you can get a zoom into that. Mm -hmm. um, UE18s, these are uh, the UE18s. And a lot of people always ask questions about um, the click track, the vocal cues, um, the, the sequences that we play with. And uh, we run that off of Ableton Live, mm -hmm. correct? And I have Tiago, which is our music director here at church. He'll be able to give you guys a better rundown of how we run it and how all that works, because I totally. suck at that. No, totally. But I can give you guys a, a good rundown on, of the gear that we use for tracks. We, we, we do a lot of multi-tracks, but not, not everything, you know. It, it, we just, we always customize stuff and some stuff down so the computers run a little better. This guy here, so Vivian, the, the keyboard player, was triggering tracks. So we used this guy, which is the Luptimus, I guess. Uh, and I, you can program it and, and have every single song here. I, I love the fact that I, I always try to be super safe. So next, and then I play the song, and then you go next to this number two. And then I, I know which song I am. There's a, always a double click. So no accidental hits and stuff. And then you always have the emergency stop if we you know, if you get off track. But let me show you guys the rig. And uh, I don't know if there's enough light, but probably you guys can see. And uh, so we used to do laptop a long time ago. And when we, we, we go somewhere, when we go lead in a different church, we take the laptop, but essentially we built this, this guy here, which is uh, pretty much two Mac minis uh, mounted. I feel like we just put a bunch of RAM on those guys and for Ableton and the way we run stuff, it's uh, it's very powerful and 
they don't fall off stage. So it's good. And we go, so each Mac Mini is connected to, to the A28X, the Thunderbolt Mo2, uh, which has like 10 outputs in the back. And they go to this radio thing. So computer A and computer B, they're all plugged right, uh, to the back of these guys. And this is the output. So whenever computer A, so it's pretty much one through eight. We have like, if you, if you see here, we have like clicking, going to channel one, cues going to channel two, and then I have drums, and then I have some key stuff, electric guitar, synth bass, BGV, and I have some extra spots. And then I always have Simpty code here, so we can control on channel nine, so we can control uh, lighting, explosions, video, we trigger videos, and so we can be all synced. And then in this, in this guy, which is channel 10, we do the 1K tone for the radio. It's pretty much like a, a solid tone that that tells the radio box that we are receiving signal. If that, that tone coming from computer A, computer A fails, it switches automatically to computer B and it's seamless. It's pretty amazing. We, we've, we've done some tests. Uh, I don't think that computer A ever failed, but, uh, but it's just a peace of mind. If it's just music, like today, we just finished service. We, we, we just ran computer A. It was very straightforward service. But uh, but for Easter and video, if video fails, if lights fails, uh, it's a pretty big train wreck. So we try to, to run uh, both computers and the redundant system as well. But if you guys have any questions, you know, about the drum stuff, Ape Drums, Tiago Jericho here. And God bless you guys. Hope to see you soon.